say thank you to, to Chris for uh, being my camera person today so I don't actually have to use a garbage bin or, you know, a 30-million-year-old rock wall. I was going to say 3,000-year-old rock wall. Uh, here we are in Petra, uh, the Treasury Building behind me. Uh, I've gotten lucky enough to speak at a number of pretty amazing places recently. And, uh, well, this technically isn't speaking to an audience. Uh, this is still a, a pretty uh, humbling uh, experience to be standing here. And uh, I just I wanted to say hello and say this is Petra. We walked through the canyon, just saw that, and we'll be walking some more. But uh, basically I wanted to just say this. I was talking actually with Chris on the way up, and uh, I got an email from a student um, who saw me speak in guitar, saying that something they'd really been working for really hard hadn't panned out, and that they kind of ended up feeling like uh, they were a failure because everything that they'd done for the last several years was for this one thing. And I started to think about it, and he asked me, do you have any advice, just because I feel really like I'm a failure right now. And I started to think about the whole idea of failure, and I realized something that when I take a look back over my whole life, but especially even in the last 18 months, I'd say 80% of the things that I really wanted that I didn't end up getting, things that like frustrated me or made me feel bad or hurt or worse in, the, in my whole life, you take like 8 out of 10 of them, if I look at them now, I'm really glad that I didn't get them because something else came along later. And I know that people sometimes people say things have for a reason, and I know some people feel things have for a reason. And whether you think that things are a part of a plan, or you think that if you just wait long enough, there'll be something good that comes out of everything bad. Um, I'm getting to stand here right now and do this because of things that I didn't get, because of hard work, because of commitment, because of all of those things, and I think they're important. But I'm standing here as much because of things I didn't get as things that I did get. And I think that that's something to always remember because we're always going to get smacked with things that don't work out. And so for everybody, I know it's that time of year when everyone gets university acceptances too. And sometimes things don't work out the way you expect it to or plan to. But I think that a lot of the things that who we become is the stuff that we don't get. So always remember that. You get cool moments like this. It's worth thinking about, right? All right, thanks guys.